Marnik and his son Tom van Gaver have been running one of the best performing pigeon lofts in Belgium in recent years. And two bloodlines have played an increasingly important role, Finn and Ricky. 2019 has been a truly fantastic racing season for Tom and Marnik van Gaver. This is their Pelmers, second national ace pigeon all-round KBDB 2019. 6th National Ace Pigeon Long Distance Old Birds KBDB 2019, 7th National General Champion of Belgium KBDB 2019, 13th National Champion of Belgium Long Distance Old Birds KBDB 2019, 2nd Provincial Champion Long Distance KBDB East Flanders 2019, 4th Provincial Ace Pigeon Long Distance KBDB East Flanders 2019, 1st Best Yearling of Belgium One Day Long Distance 2019, 5 Prizes, People ranking first best old bird of Belgium one day long distance 2019. Five prizes. People ranking first ace bird Corregum Center 2019 first general superstar long distance scout in Duif competition 2019 first general champion OVVFV OV 2019. And this means their 2019 season was quite similar to previous years in terms of results. One of the most prominent names in their racing team was Tets Corleen. Over the past two years, this hun claimed a provincial first prize from Orleans and from Bois. Tetsk happens to be a daughter of a full sister of Miss Blue, namely Deep Traveling 681, BE 17 4202681. This hun moved straight to the breeding loft, and that proved the right move. She bred a double provincial winner already in 2019, which is quite unusual. Miss Blue is in turn a great racing hen as well, with an excellent Palmers. The Ricky Bloodline Another pigeon that has truly excelled in Mortsley last season is Little Ricky, BE18-4070849. He is a son of Ricky, one of the top breeders in this loft. Little Ricky won a first national zone Boogs of 4,227 yearlings. And on top of that, Little Ricky claimed three victories alongside a 5th National Burgs 1 of 17,969 pigeons and an 8th National Tull 7,155 pigeons, making him this year's 2nd National Ace Pigeon, all-round KBDB. The apple does not fall far from the tree, it seems. And Ricky is not only an exceptional breeding bird. He has had quite a successful racing career as well. For Ricky's impressive Palmers and an overview of his championship titles, Ricky, a fantastic racing and breeding bird for the Van Gaver Pigeon family. Dark Ricky, BE18-4070811, is another excellent racing bird bred from Ricky. We take a look at his best results this season. First interprovincial Jarnik 983 pigeons, fastest of 2,122 pigeons. 46th National Sulak 4,056 pigeons. 29th Provincial Esudan 4,505 pigeons. 180th National Argentin 22,826 pigeons. 15th Provincial Orleans 22721 pigeons. Grandson Ricky 77, BE 17 4156077 is another Ricky descendant that was able to deliver. Ricky 77 is 9th best pigeon from Limoges 2018 to 2019 and 15th best pigeon from Tull 2018 to 2019, and he is also 25th best old bird across all Belgian one day long distance races with 5 prizes. It shows that Ricky is quite an important breeder indeed. Miss Bombic, BE 18 4057938, -05 a great granddaughter of Ricky, has had a terrific season as well. She was the best one-year-old in the long distance with five prizes in 2019. Sweet 16, BE 17-4163516 is another top breeder in the racing lofts of Tom and Marnik van Gaver. This pigeon was this year's sixth national ace pigeon long distance Fon KBDB, and he is an original Raf Denhees bird. We take a look at the titles and prizes that Sweet 16 has won across his career. 6th National Ace Pigeon KBDB Long Distance Olds 2019 First Ace Pigeon Courage M Center 2019 First Best Old Bird Long Distance Belgium 5, 6, 7 Prizes People Ranking 2019 Co-Winner 7th General Champ KBDB 2019 Co-Winner 
13th National Champion KBD Bifon 2019 Co-Winner Superstar Long Distance Golden Pigeon 2019 Sixth National Cares, 6,905 Pigeons 2019, etc. Finn is another breeder, alongside Ricky, that has pushed Team Van Gaver to new heights. Finn, BE15-421140 was a fantastic racing bird and winner of a first provincial tell of 1,591 pigeons in 2016 with an impressive 17-minute lead. He also claimed victory in the zone of 2,761 pigeons, and he finished in ninth place of 7,322 pigeons at national level. But that's not all. First fastest of 652 pigeons veers on 2017 seventh provincial 7,057 pigeons. First fastest of 263 pigeons La Souterrain 2016 12th National Zone 2,545 pigeons. Fourth club and 13th National Zone 1,890 pigeons, etc. The parents of Finn are the so-called Finn pair, a couple that has produced talented youngsters on a regular basis. The descendants of this superclass breeding pair have won an impressive number of top results. For an overview of the achievements of the Finn pair youngsters from 2016 to 2019, Tom and Marnik Van Gaver can look towards the future with confidence with such a collection of talented racing and breeding birds. And the Ricky and Finn bloodlines are the type of strains that many fanciers are looking for. These are the cornerstones of a nationally renowned pigeon loft. And we care confident that this ambitious father-son combination will be a force to be reckoned with again in 2020. Hello, my name is Tom van Gaver. I'm into the pigeon sport since I was a little boy, like five years old. I'm uh, 31. I'm in the pigeon sport all my life, almost. I will now make a movie from my loft and what I'm doing all day with the pigeons. I hope you enjoy. I'm glad already with the things I achieved in the pigeon sport. You, you have to do a lot for it to be successful, but I'm still working every day in a full-time job. I will keep working normally and also keep uh, racing the pigeons. Two years ago I decided to make my own company around the pigeons. I really invest a lot of money in it to have everything like I wanted to. So I built new lofts, I make the lofts inside to have like a good routine because it has to go fast and it has to be clean. I really like everything to be clean. I also invest in the pigeons themselves and a good base to get started well. Every hobby costs some money, yeah? so <laughs> it's like this. When I close my eyes and you give a pigeon, I can say which one it is. But it's because we are very busy with it. Another thing is also the traveling parts uh, of the pigeon sport. I like to have a combination of the two, passion for traveling and passion for pigeon sport. And I can do it in like one. Yeah, so now I want to talk about uh, my pigeon uh, Ruff. It was my national winner this year on the first big race of the year. Like an honor, I put this pigeon in first nominating in the basket. I don't know, I had some kind of weird feeling. He will be the next winner. I, I dreamed of that moment like a whole winter and then this pigeon was my first one and also was the first in Belgium. Yeah, a really big victory. Charlie. I also got this pigeon from a friend. I saw these pigeons, the youngsters in the basket. I say, no, this one. I want this one. I take it and I bring it back to my home. Directly he fly first place. I say, whoa. Now I want to introduce some of my special birds uh, on the loft. The first one is uh, Ricky. Ricky was uh, maybe my best pigeon I ever had. He was my number one. He won a lot of titles, bring me a lot of success. Um, he was every year, he was an ace pigeon.
Then as uh, I think for the moment my basic breeder, I will build all my strain around this pigeon. The building of the body is, is really perfect. He got really good attitude. At one flight, he arrived like uh, 17 minutes in front of the whole East Flanders pigeon. So it was a really special moment. After a race of 10 hours flying, he was ahead of 17 minutes of all the other pigeons. Everybody who was watching that day really enjoyed the arrival of that pigeon. I also believe a lot in this pigeon. The brother of Finn, this will be one of my new top breeders, already very proven, uh, it's very beautiful. For me to see the pigeon arrive, like after a race, 10 hours flying against the wind, it's really interesting and then yeah, the, the feeling when they come home and they are early, yeah, that's yeah, that's the most wonderful thing about the pigeon sport for me. Yeah, that's the passion about the pigeons, I think.